have uh, trained one of our people in BATM or BTAM, Behavioral Threat Assessment Mitigation, I think is what it is. Um, and the township police have sent uh, one of their detectives to be trained. So the idea is that when this app is advertised and people have it available to them, if they have a concern about a potential violent act of any kind, they can report it via this app. The information goes immediately to the police. The police will vet it immediately, even if it's 2.30 in the morning on a Wednesday night. And if they have to take uh, emergent action right then, they will. If it involves a school, then they will communicate with a small circle of us and we will involve a wider circle depending on the nature of the threat. Um, and then there are, there's a team that is essentially established to assess the threat and the, the type of response it should require. Uh, because many threats wind up not being something that's emergent and, and dangerous right in the moment, but could require additional supports for a student, let's say, uh, counseling services, so on and so forth. So that's the idea of RSVP3. And uh, all of, I believe all of the police departments have access to it now. Not all school districts yet have um, signed on. We're one of the, the first, I think, in the county. But we're hoping that it is just an extra resource in case anyone feels concerned about something that they've seen. And we've had those concerns brought to us in the past, as you know, uh, but we have had them brought to us in a whole variety of ways. Sometimes it's an, an, an email that comes in. Sometimes someone sets up a dummy Gmail account and sends something to us, and that takes us a little bit more time to unravel uh, in order to get to the bottom of it. So we're hoping that this application is useful to the police in particular.